Previously. Six years, and ever since you got back, this. What madness found you there? Hmm? Ah, us. Drop bulkhead five and eight. Be to it. They found us. And now we continue. Hey everybody, hey, this is Dad here, and welcome back to more Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age. Alright, I finally found out... I made my way here, and apparently this is the elevator that I need to go to. The south lift, it brings us to the 70th floor. That's new! <laughs> I don't know how the fuck we got here, but that's new. Literally, all I did was like, run around, kill almost everybody with the pulse, until I got to here. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, what? There's an elevator here? I don't remember this shit. <gasps> oh! So don't forget to click that subscribe button, everybody. And that's- oh. Dr. Sid, where are you? What the fuck? Ugh. Damn, you're fast. My apologies. You bear not the stench of Sid's lackeys. And you are our earlier visitor. Yes, a valuable hmm? man, one I'd sooner not lose. Yet he knows too much. <clears throat> that must be said. Hi, right, everyone. Is there a crystal? Yeah, there's a crystal. Hold up. Um, can you open that up, please? I, there's a, oh, never mind. Crystal, you're off. <laughs> never mind. Uh, this is right here. Before we do that, there is shit over here that most likely means treasure. Right? Right? Oh, 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 treasure. Treasure. Wait a second, there could be some goodie goodies. Goody goody. Gil talk? Um, no thank you. I don't want to talk about Gil. Reverse mode? Um. No, I don't really need that either. Hey, can we get, like, can we get ultimate weapon? Like, maybe, like, maybe if there's ultimate weapon here? Maybe? Like, can, can, is there an ultimate weapon? Ultimate weapon? No? Oh, fuck you two, game chief. Alright, let's go kill Sid. Something I never thought I ever say in a Final Fantasy game. Uh, let's go kill Sid. <laughs> Something I never thought I'd say. Sid's usually, Sid is usually our ally in Final Fantasy games. Like, he's usually, yeah, he's usually our ally. Now he's like, enemy? What the fuck? Except for 13. 13, he was also an enemy. Sid! You know Day affected Nethersite brought down the Leviathan. How can you persist in this folly? <laughs> and you've come here to stop me. I'd fain see you try. Consider your bones, old man. You're outmatched. Pirate scum of the skies. What brings you here? Treasure. What else would a pirate want? We'll take the Dusk Shard. <laughs> You've come all this way for that trinket. I thought you were above this. Hmm? What's that? The Princess of Dalmasca come to visit. Mm. She's not entirely without merit. A test of sorts for our princess? Huh. You're a babbling fool. A trial for a Shalia Banargin Dalmasca! You lust for the stone's power, do you not? <sighs> Lend him not your ears, milady. He means to use you. <laughs> Manufactured Nethersite, like Bergen. How could you do this? How could you fall this far? Oh shit, it's gonna be fun! Oh, it's gonna be fun! First, I'm gonna rob you. First, wait, wait, first, I'm gonna rob you. Shit. That's all. Also, I take out book first. You know what? Time. Summon. Matthias. Ah! My 
summon the Ice Asper. Perse wait, to Perseus. Matthias, go! Drop blade. Go! Edgewater. The, the power of ice. Oh! Get the Game of Thrones aim. Got the White Walker aim. Cold diamond dust. Oh! I fucking had that White Walker. Whoa! Oh, bloody shit! That did Jack and Dinley. Okay, you wanna fucking play? Okay, Taylor, what's that? Play, bitch. I'm stuck from the rocks. What the fuck? Always hiding behind your toys. Pity if anything were to happen to them. Yeah, we got the rocks. So we go full on frontal attack. Oh, oh, you know what? You know what? Hold on. We need to switch to craft vanilla. We need full on Is it not falling? Okay, I tried one piece. There we go. Some reason, like, some reason, like, it's one of the falling. Come on! Hey, nah, there we go! One last rope! And then... Yes! Open up the You know what? It's time to show off my new Esper! Teleria! Ah! Esper of Death! Darkness! Fuck you with me. You think I did? It pains me to inform you that your time here is over. The oh shit! Fuck you got a real gun! Fuck you got a real gun! Oh shit! Oh fuck! Oh shit! I I I got hurt. Yeah. Oh, what that? You know what? I think it's time to end this. Damn shit! Power of dark. Feel it. Power of darkness with me. Evil. <laughs> Die! Yeah, that's gotta do some hefty damage. What? Oh, oh, you know what? Force me. Force me to do this. Sil Balfius! A snail like a fire esper! Come on. Do more damage than you what happens. What? That's it? Oh, come on, why are you I want you hellfire? Oh fuck. Vena, you shouldn't have. This creature. So this is your Vena. A Shelia Benagin Dalmaska. Just how far will you go for power? Does your lust for Nephysite consume you? <laughs> am I right? I am, aren't I? A worthy daughter of the Dynast King. You would do well to go to Giruvagan. Who knows? You may receive a new stone for your trouble. 
Your words mean nothing to me! The reins of history back in the hands of man. I do make for Giravagan. Give chase if you dare it. Hate it when he does that. Mayhaps you think me remiss, the Lady Ash of Dalmasca? The Sky Pirate Rethos, at your employ. The Imperial Senate, powerless to resist House Solidor's brutal purge, was dissolved. Vain Solidor reigned supreme over the Empire. Though this upheaval shook the Imperial Bastion to its foundation, these developments were, to say the least, welcomed by her military. The authoritarian rule of the judges, in tandem with the impending threat of Rosarian invasion, served to foster camaraderie among its ranks. For our part, the resistance mustered strength in the border skies making ready for the task ahead. A war to decide the doom of Ivalice would soon be upon us. Flame Tongue and Ugernex are away. All ships reporting in. They're breaking to begin ship to ship maneuvers against us. All hands, full ahead flank. We shall make ready to repel their attacks. Counter air. Track them as though they were the enemy. Counter air, to your stations. A dispatch from Naldoa Command, Excellency. The Sky Pirate has left Arcadian airspace. He makes for Balfenheim with the Lady Ash and her party. It is good to know the lady still lives, but what of our bid for the stone? With the stone or without, our resistance should prove an even match for the Imperial Army. These weeks of training have honed our edge. I pray it is sharp enough. They choose to supply the resistance, yet raise not a sword in aid. What city could do this? A city of men without countries, pirates of the sea and of the sky. Few are they who would fain lay down their lives for a friend, let alone a king. The Marquis, he is set on war? The time approaches when he must make his position vis-a-vis -vis the Empire clear. When he helped you off the Leviathan, he spited the judges full sore. He cannot sit in idleness and expect to avoid a reckoning. The Marquis shares my distaste for war. Yet, if it comes to it, he will show no quarter. For the time being, we will continue to train the Resistance Army. Enough power on our side, and even Vane may see the appeal of the treaty table. Yet Vane holds the Nethysite. What makes you think he would treat when he holds such power? Power enough to sink the Leviathan. All the more reason for me to support your infiltration of the capital. You said it yourself. The Nethysite is a powerful weapon. I would have you acquire it for me. I have not said I would give you the Midlight Shard. If there is no stone, I would have to look elsewhere for aid. Then you would ally with Rosaria. 
As I must. Failure's not an option. It's just what Vane wants. He lures the Rosarians and the Resistance to the field, then crushes both with the Nethysite. I think not. Sid has a stone. We grab it and smash it to pieces with the Sword of Kings. Vane will be left holding nary a thing. Time is short. We follow Sid. He's heading towards Giru Vagan. Giru Vagan. It is told of in a song of my people. On the farthest shores of the river of time, shrouded deep in the roiling mist, the holy land sleeps, Guru Vagan. Who knows the paths, the way to its doors? Then you seek the Yok Four, deep within the jungle of Golmor. There is a corner of the Feywood where a mist storm surges and seethes. And that's it. Let's go. Right. <gasps> Not coming, Rivers? Forget your precious nether sight already? Sid's words rang hollow to me. I will follow another course. Ah, another lead then, is it? You're well informed. I could well say the same to you, pirate. Hurry it up, or we'll leave without you. Ah, Vaughn. I've had some of my men check on this Feywood. Best ask what they've found. Okay. Thanks for the help, Brothers. <laughs> Fly first, ask questions later. Your apprentice is more pirate than you. I don't have an apprentice. Princess Ash, I would hear your heart. If Dr. Sid has spoke the truth, you may well be rewarded with more Nethysite in Giru Vagan. Tell me, do you still desire the stone? I desire its power. I want, yet I also fear. I must protect Dalmasca. I can't afford to fear anything. Do not forget Nabodis. That is my only counsel for you. Alright guys, woo, we just kicked Sid's ass. I actually wanted to like, you know, OP, like, oh fucking like, obliterate Sid, but you know what, I'll take the win, I'll take the win, I'll take the win. So when we come back, we're going all the way up to the Feywood, and you know, going to the Feywood and going to Goravagion, follow Sid, and obtain and destroy the Nether Sight. So thank you all for watching, don't forget to click that subscribe button, I'll be seeing you guys in the next Final Fantasy XII Zodiac Age full part. Be said everyone! with my spectacular Zodiac Age film day! Somebody knocked over a rupee! <laughs> Where's the rupee? No, don't no, shoot that one. <laughs> Wait. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look for a rupee slightly off